Hey everyone, this is going to be a one minute research methods recap on the difference between a positive and a negative correlation. A positive correlation is both of your variables are moving in the same direction at the same time. As one goes up, the other goes up. As one goes down, the other goes down. If I say increasing your amount of sleep every night can increase your overall optimism scores, positive correlation. As one goes, I wanted to make sure I wasn't saying it in causal language. As one goes up, the other goes up. As sleep is increasing, optimism scores are increasing, both going up. If I say reducing the amount of stress in your daily life can reduce your amount of depression symptoms, still a positive correlation. One's going down, the other's going down. They're moving in the same direction. A negative correlation, as one goes up, one goes down. As one goes down, one goes up. Increasing your amount of sleep can decrease your stress levels. It's, they're going opposite directions. If both variables are going down at the same time, that is still a positive cor correlation because they're moving in the same direction. Little over a minute. Um, they're moving in the same direction. They're both going down at the same time, still a positive correlation. That is a very commonly misunderstood term. A negative correlation must be they're moving in opposite directions. I'm not talking about the subjective impact, right? Negative correlation doesn't mean this was a bad thing. It's just meaning both things are going in opposite directions. As one goes up, one goes down. As one goes down, one goes up. The more frequently I take a walk in the morning, the, the more days a week that I do that, the lower my overall stress scores are throughout the day. So that has been an attempt at a one-minute research methods recap. I am at a minute and 48 seconds, so we're going to call that a victory.